Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How did the Constitution improve on the Articles of Confederation regarding the executive branch? Under the Articles of Confederation, there was no separate executive branch. The central government relied on a legislative body with no executive or judicial branches to enforce laws or conduct foreign policy for. The lack of an executive branch led to significant weaknesses, including the inability to enforce federal laws and manage foreign affairs effectively. The government was paralyzed by its dependence on state legislatures for funding and decision-making, which often required unanimous votes. The Constitutional Convention in 1787 addressed these shortcomings by creating a separate executive branch. This branch was designed to have the power to enforce federal laws and conduct foreign policy, crucial functions that the Articles of Confederation could not handle. The Constitution established the office of the president, who would serve as the head of the executive branch. This was a significant departure from the Articles, where such a position did not exist. The president was given the authority to enforce laws, command the military, and negotiate treaties, although treaty ratification remained a legislative responsibility. The method of electing the president was also a point of contention and compromise. Unlike the Articles, where decisions were made by state delegations, the Constitution introduced the electoral college system for presidential elections. This system allowed for a balance between the interests of larger and smaller states. The creation of the executive branch also included checks and balances to prevent the concentration of power. The president could veto laws, but Congress could override this veto with a two-thirds majority. This ensured that the executive branch remained accountable to both the people and Congress. In summary, the Constitution improved upon the Articles of Confederation by establishing a robust executive branch with clear powers and responsibilities, ensuring effective governance and the ability to enforce laws and manage foreign affairs. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.